Hello everyone, another motor, servo. So servo motors are everywhere when you want a limited rotation, not 360 degrees, but a limited rotation, you need servo motors, but not only limited to this application, servo motors are everywhere in our life. And I will give the examples after we explore the servo motor and how it works. So servo motor, uh, again, uh, comes with two switches and one of them denotes uh, the coding and analog. If you want to use it with coding module, then you need to switch it to the coding. Uh, if you want to use it uh, in analog, meaning that there is no uh, coding module in mode, you can use in uh, analog uh, mode and still get, get use of the servo motor. And there, there is another uh, switch at the right side, uh, and uh, there is turn mode and sweep mode. Sweep mode actually works like this. So it is kind of a cleaning motion of your window uh, if you are uh, inside of a car. So if you want to keep your windows clean, you need servo motors. And um, the, the turn, uh, actually, uh, uh, if you want the um, servo motor to go in a specific angle, uh, you can use turn uh, as well. So uh, before making it more complicated, let's figure out together. So since I'm not using coding module, I choose the switch to analog. So I make sure it is in analog. And if you want to use a servo motor, it is best to use it with, uh, with an input, basically. So let's see. It is in analog mode, and uh, we are now exploring the turn, uh, actually, the turn uh, mode. So let's see what will happen. Maybe we can use button before slide dimmer, okay? So you can see the position of servo motor here, and once I, will, uh, once I push uh, on button, as you can see, it turns 180 degrees. And once I release my hand, it turns back to, uh, uh, to position it started. So it is kind of a 180 degrees uh, motion. And if I choose sweep, and if I click on the button, as you can see, it goes back and forth. It changes 180 degrees and comes back so it is a continuous motion when you have sweep it kind of sweeps continuously when you have turn it goes to a specific position and stay there until you release your hand and you can use this with other uh, input modules as well so what i'm doing right now with slight dimmer i am arranging the voltage value and it is in turn so Maybe I can also show uh, the voltage value with display. So you will see as I increase, as I increase the slide dimmer, you can see I can change the position. Let's see the voltage value. So each voltage value value stands for a, uh, a fixed position. So I can make it stop not only in 0 and 180 degrees, but uh, for the other angles as well. And let's check what happens if I choose the sweep mode and then change the value. So when it is in 1 volt, around 1 volt, let's say, so it starts to rotate with a lower speed, not full speed, but you still have the sweep motion. So you can adjust the speed of the servo motor by using different inputs. If there is a higher voltage, let's say 4 volt, around 4 volt, you can see the increase in, its ser in servo motor speed. So uh, all the robot arms uh, actually in the world have servo motors because robot arms uh, and are maybe uh, joints uh, have uh, like limited motion, not uh, 
200, uh, not 360, not full circular motion, but there's a limited motion in our joints as well. So all the robot arms uh, are using servo motors to have a motion like uh, our uh, bones and our joints. And when you uh, use the servo motor with coding module, uh, you can choose any angle for different uh, inputs. And uh, there are also other servo accessories that comes with the kit. So you have these different servo accessories. And once you uh, remove uh, this part by using uh, actually here, and you can replace them and continue to use uh, for different purposes. As you can see, this has only one side, so it is more like uh, um, uh, like it creates um, a flexibility if you are using if your space is limited. And this one has um, like the two side of the this piece is not uh, equal, uh, so it, they are in different uh, length. Uh, therefore, again, it increases the uh, usage uh, areas. And as I said, in real life, there are several uh, areas that you can uh, observe the usage of um, uh, servo motors. And if you want to create a robot arm, servo motor is your module. And we will explain more about servo motor, servo motor and how you can use it with twin coding module. See you in the next bit.